everyone welcome to this video of running a deep seek locally with api in previous video we have seen how to run a deep seek r1 locally with the help of cli and a ui we have used the open web ui now we are going to see how we can use it with the help of api so that we can integrate it into our python code so that is what we are going to cover in this video so for that we are going to use a jupyter uh, visual studio so i will just open my visual studio over here so this is my visual studio and i am setting this my visual studio to a folder olama i will just open a terminal over here and in this terminal what we can do we can first create a virtual library or uh, virtual environment so python 3 slash m v e n v v e n v so we will first create one virtual environment so now you can see over here one virtual environment is created now we will activate this environment so source v e n v slash bin slash activate so now our virtual environment is activated if you are using a windows os the command will be slightly different now what we want to do we have to create one environment uh, one python file so we will just go to new file and i will name it as start one dot py and we are going to write the code over here now for this we have to import the two things first we will request require a request because we are calling the model using a api so we will write import request and we are going to import json also now you can see over here the request is not already installed so we will install it into the our environment using a pip command pip install requests so now request has been imported and if required we can update our pip also so we will just right now ignore it the next thing we required is to set a url for our request now this url run at the port of 411434 api slash generate so using this api we can call our open llama model so for that what we need our model should be open in the background so we should have this symbol of open llama which is not available over here so i will just open my olama so now this olama is open we can check it with the help of terminal also now we can see olama list so to check which model are already installed in my device so i already have olama 3.2 olama 3.2 3b actually both are the same model and one more model install is dipsic r1 1.5 billion so we are going to require this code so next thing what we have to do we have to set a data and in this data we are going to set a model so we will just open and close this bracket and we will set model and this model we are going to set it for the uh, the model which we have just seen that is dipsic dash r1 1.5b dipsic dash r1 colon 1.5b so this will be our model and now we have to write a prompt so prompt i will write it tell me a short story tell me a short story so suppose this will be my prompt now to use this prompt we required to add a response to do as we want it to print continuously we have to add one more parameter that parameter is nothing but a stream so we have to set stream is equal to true 
and now we want to print this so for printing i am directly writing a code over here so this will check whether status is true and if status is true it is going to keep on printing so now we are going to save this file we have already set the model and now we have to run this command so for that we can simply write as python3 start1.py so it is showing one error that uh, page not found so we will just check sorry there is a, some spelling mistake that is a generate we will just save it again and run it once again so now you can see it has started think and it is started writing the story so this is how we can run our DeepSeq model locally and with the help of API key. Now we will continue it with how we can write this particular same API key in our Python code. So now we will see how we can use the same command in the Python library. So for that we are going to start a new file and now I am writing the code in ipynb file so that we can run it line by line. So I can write new file start dot ipynb file and for this ipynb file we have to install a kernel. So as we have created a new virtual environment we need to install this kernel also so we can write pip install ipy kernel so now this kernel is been installed now we have to write a code so we can click on plus and we can import here olama so you can see it is been underlined because olama library is not installed so here we will also install pip install olama so now our olama library is been installed now we can run this command and import the olama now we have to check out which are the different different llm we have locally available so for that we can write response is equal to olama dot list and which will provide uh, you all the list which are available so we can print it print response now it will show which are the models we have available locally so we can see over here that is a llama 3.2 latest is available then the next model which we have is llama 3.2 billion again and the last one is model that is a deep seek r1 1.5 billion so this is the model which we are going to use in a python library so now to generate a code we can write this is equal to olama dot now we will use a chat command so olama dot chat and here we are going to first select which model we are going to use so in a model we are going to define that is a deep seek dash r1 is a model and we are using 1.5 billion parameter so here we have to define a model and then we have to define a message so in a message we will write it in a square bracket first we will define that is a role is equal to user role is user and content and in content I am going to write whatever message write a very short story so this will be my message now we are going to run this command so it will take some time and then we are going to print it so write print res so depending on the prompt it will generate it will take some time and then we are going to print it so we will just wait for it to finish and now we can print this 
so we can see over here it is not very well shown what is printed so it is showing a model which it used when it created and we have to find where the actual message is and actual message is present over here in a message and in message content so we will print it accordingly so it will be uh, well seen so we can write print res and in a res it is present in message so we can write it as a message zero it is not a messages it is simple message and there is no list present over here so we will remove that zero also and we will run it so you can see over here this is a small story which is been generated now think if we want to print one by one not like a complete message first generated and then printing so for that we have to write something such as a one for loop uh, so in the race we will run a for loop and we will calculate take out all the chunks and we will print it in step by step but before that we have to add a streaming so for that i will just copy and paste this code again and in this i am going to add one more thing that streaming is equal to true so stream is equal to true this thing we have to add after message we have to provide a colon now run this command and you can see that all the code will start printing as soon as it has started the thinking so likewise you can generate the message in a real time things in local llm so your data is completely safe and secure now we are going to see if you want to create your own model which will behave the way you want so that thing we are going to do from our local deepseq r1 model we will generate some another model so for that you can write it as a olama dot create command so this is what we are going to use and we are going to use the existing model that is a olama uh, that is a deepseq r1b model and we are going to train this model to do something else so we can write it as a from and again we are going to use a deepseq r1 model itself so it will be again deepseq r1 b model and this model i am going to define it as a r1 for school and this model i want to behave in such a way that it has to explain any complex concept to a high school student so i am going to write it as a system prompt that you are a chatbot who want to explain the complex concept in a simple way to the primary school students so this will be a system prompt which will be provided and passed to a system at each and every time to generate a response now what we want to do we want to create a some parameters such as temperature and etc so that parameters i am going to write it over here so parameters is equal to max token i can set it as a thousand so if you want to define how much max token it should use etc that you can define and now we are going to generate this model so just run this command and this model is been generated so if you want to check whether this model is generated or not you can use the command olama dot list and you can check this model so this model will be listed over here you can see it as a first model deepseq r1 school so this model is been generated now if you want to use this model i will just write copy this code and i will make some changes in this itself now i have paste this the model which i am using is nothing but a school model role is user and content i want it to explain the gravitation concept so this i want to get output of and i will now run the command 
so this is you have to explain this command to the school in a easy way so that is what it is thinking and it is generating the prompt in a similar way so if you want to create own local model in your own way it should respond so you can write a response read a response over here the gravity is a pull of earth that makes objects fall to the ground when you drop it drop a marble in a hole so it has explained the concept the way we want so we can modify any existing model locally to have it work in our own way so you can create own model also so if you want this model to be deleted you can write olama dot delete and the you have to pass the name so you can delete this model also so i hope all these concepts are clear to you and now you can easily use any LLM model locally, make some changes, uh, run it with the help of API or a Python library. So I hope all things are clear to you.